In this video, I will show you two methods to deploy Notepad++ using Microsoft Intune. First, create some folders for Intune package creation. For example, I will create them in the D drive. Before you can add the app to Microsoft Intune, you must prepare the app by using the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool. The tool converts application installation files into the .intunewin format. Download the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool from the official Microsoft GitHub repository. Extract the downloaded zip file. We just need the prep tool, so let's copy it to the Intune folder that we've created in the previous step. Make sure the file IntuneWinAppUtil.exe is located at the same level as the input and output folders. Next, we need to download the setup file of the app. Rename the downloaded file to setup.exe. Then copy it to the input folder that we've created in the previous steps. At this moment, you can see the structure of the Intune folder. All files and folders in the input folder will be compressed into an .intunewin file format. After the conversion, the final Intune package will be saved into the output folder. Next, open PowerShell or Terminal as administrator. Navigate to the Intune folder using the cd command. Now, run the Intune WinAppUtil tool. The tool will guide you to enter the required parameters step by step. Specify the path of the input folder as the source folder. Enter the full path of the setup.exe file. And the path of the output folder for the generated.intunewin file. Press Enter to continue. The application is now doing its magic, creating the .intunewin file for us. Once done, go to the output folder to verify that the .intunewin file is being created. Finally, log in to the Intune Admin Center and add a Windows app. From the drop-down menu, select the app type as Windows App Win32. For the app package file, select the output in Tune file that you created. In the app information page, Specify the information as required such as name of the Intune app, a description for the app and name of the publisher. Optionally, you can upload a logo for the app by selecting an image file. In the program page, we need to enter the install and uninstall commands for the app. Enter the install and uninstall commands as follows. Change this option to no if you want to prevent users to uninstall the app. On the requirements page, 
You can specify prerequisites that the managed devices must meet before the app is installed, such as the device architecture, minimum OS version, disk space, and more. Detection rules allow you to check if the app is already installed. This prevents conflicts with other applications and ensures smooth deployment. You can either use a custom detection script or a manually configured detection rule. In this video, we'll use manually configured detection rule type. Select file as the rule type to verify based on file or folder detection. Enter the full path of the folder that contains the file or folder to detect. Enter the file or folder to detect. Select file or folder exists as the detection method to validate the presence of the app. In this page, you can define software dependencies and specify apps that must be installed before the app can be deployed. Additionally, you can configure supersedents to directly update or replace an older version of the app. On the assignments page, decide how to deploy the app. For required deployments, the app will be force installed on specified groups or devices. For available deployments, the app will appear in the company portal, allowing users to install it. Use the uninstall deployment option to remove the app from managed devices. You can select Add All Devices to deploy the app to all managed devices, but it's recommended to test the deployment on a small group of devices before deploying it organization-wide. In this page, you can also filter devices for deployment, configure end-user notifications, and app installation deadline. Review your settings and click Create. If you see the message, your app is not ready yet, wait for the content upload to finish. After a few minutes, you'll receive confirmation that the upload is complete and the deployment is active. To verify deployment on a device, log in and allow time for the system to sync. You can also manually trigger a sync from Windows Settings or the Company Portal app. As you can see, Intune is downloading and installing the app. and the app has been successfully installed automatically. In the Intune portal, you can monitor the deployment status on the overview page, where you'll see a graphical breakdown such as devices with successful installations, devices still installing, and any errors encountered. Please note that the deployment status may take some time to appear in the Intune Admin Center. Please be patient. If the app is no longer needed, you can modify its deployment settings in Intune to uninstall it. Go to the Properties section and edit the assignments. Remove the group from the required section and add it to the uninstall section. Wait for the sync to complete, and the app will automatically be removed from target devices. The second way, we can quickly deploy Notepad++ in the Enterprise Catalog using Microsoft Intune. 
The Enterprise App Catalog allows you to search for your desired apps so you can easily add them in Intune. It will also allow you to update older versions of the app without packaging. Before you begin, Enterprise App Management is an Intune add-on as part of the Intune Suite. So, make sure you have an Intune Suite subscription before continue. Once you have the required license, the Enterprise App Catalog option will be available from the drop-down menu. Click Search the Enterprise App Catalog, then search for the wanted app. The Configuration tab will show you the available app types, including language, architecture, and version. While some may have multiple options, many apps will only show you the latest version, depending on the vendor. Leave the settings on the app information page as default unless you want to make it available from the Company Portal app. In the next page, we can check the pre-filled installation parameters, Usually there is no need to modify these, but if needed it is possible. The same goes for the requirements page, which has already been completed by the vendor. The detection settings page has also been pre-filled. Enterprise App Catalog app supports file size, file version and registry detection methods. Assign the app to the target users or devices. Review and add the app to Intune. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in next videos.